It is down into storage here on this right hand side as Liverpool look to break again. The cross is blocked out for a throw in, I mean a corner kick to Newcastle to Liverpool. I do apologise. I mean Liverpool trying to wrap this game up now in this first half headed away at the near post Lucas finds Steven Gerrard again on his right hand side Steven Gerrard with a ball in headed away for what will be a throw in this time by Taylor getting a strong head on that don't know where he was heading exactly there was another Newcastle player behind him Agu was just behind that man Steven Gerrard another corner from this near side once again headed away by Newcastle they've done well at that but anything else they haven't done so well at and Steven Gerrard nicely passed one player great tackle by Kabaye I think he was Yang and Beery just got passed too easily no it was actually Hadari got just passed him too easily and Kabaye has to make really a real saving tackle there before Steven Gerrard was able to look up and find somebody in the box. Gerrard again going for an unusual corner all the way out to Glenn Johnson. It's crossed back in to Sturridge. Oh, put across um, the face of um, the penalty area. And once again, Newcastle deal with it. And an offside on Daniel Sturridge there. I reckon this one was offside though. The last two have been actually onside when they were called offside. Um, warm welcome for Hatton Ben Arthur as he warms up. I'm sure I'd love to see him come on in the second half. And I think Alan Pardew won't want to waste too much time in that second half making that substitution. I should think he'll be a half time sub to be honest. Because Newcastle just lacked any invention. If they can get a goal back before half time, it would be a massive bonus. And this man that really have missed for most of the season, Hatton Ben Arthur. And even the last few weeks, he's been on the bench, but obviously not fit enough to play full games. Obviously, they'll want him for the remainder of weeks of the season, though, because this is not over. They're not our relegation battle at all. A win for Villa at Sunderland, you know. We see the worry as well for Newcastle fans is the fact that Sunderland could obviously be jumping on. Sunderland obviously playing Villa on Monday, a win there, and Sunderland I do believe will go ahead of um, Newcastle. Obviously the worst, you know, season couldn't get any worse, but you know, just like that it can. I think it would be a lot of their biggest rivals in the Premier League. After losing just a couple of weeks ago, 3 0 at home to Sunderland. And a poor display here after a draw against West Bromwich Albion the week last week. And just in the second goal again. Just always running back Newcastle defence, just never really in front of the ball like they should be. Always just balls around the back of the defence has really hurt them. Same with the first goal, just a cross over the top of the defence. And Daniel Agger was just in acres of space to head home. In just the third minute of the game that was. And here's Tiote. Trying to find Sizoko who's again he's offside C say this time. Offside. Suzoko has practically become another striker now for Newcastle. Obviously, having to do that now if they want to go for the win. Well, go for the draw, really. <laughs> you know, probably win was on the cards for them at the beginning of the game, but now, obviously, with two goals from Daniel Agger and Jordan Henderson. It's changed that completely. Tiote does well there defensively. 
Kabai tries to get it round Lucas but can't quite and has to set up for a throw in on the far side just inside Newcastle's half. And Newcastle down the right hand side just trying to work it but there's so many red shirts around and can't seem to get any space whatsoever. Just lacking that finding the space, that ball, it's just all scrappy from Newcastle's point of view. And Hadara now trying to create something here on the left hand side. Plays it inside to Caballo, tries to find Cisse. Cisse controls it nicely, this is better. That's what I want to do, he has to play it out in the end to Gutierrez. Gutierrez trying to through ball there for Sissoko. Doesn't quite come through as Kabai takes it. Oh, nice work by Hadara. Down the left hand side, crosses it in. It's heading in just over. James Perch, it looked like it should have been in. Ah, wait a second, I thought that had to be in. It was an absolutely sensational cross by Hadara. Oh, and it just planted onto Perch's head, but no accuracy whatsoever. He's just more like he's come off his head, not been able to guide it at all. Even Jamie Carragher his head hands on his head there. I'm sure that's more out of relief than um grievance there, like it was for James Perch who went down to his knees straight away, realised how big a chance that was to get a get all back, a very undeserved goal in all fairness. Back it would have been for Newcastle but they would have took it. Well, it didn't fall on James Perch's head, I was poor. Come at him at some pace, but it was a delightful cross. And you just want your, the players in the box to head that home as a left back. Hadara would have, you know, that's the kind of ball you dream of. Cissé was probably looking across. That's the ball he kind of dreams of. Now the sun have really played much faster now, much Added to the pace now of Newcastle. Caboye trying to find Sizoko. And in the end, Liverpool have to scramble it away for a throw in. So it's much better. This is the tempo, the exact tempo that Newcastle won. This quick play. Trying to find them through balls and get it down the wing, get crosses in. You've got big guys like Sizoko and Cisse. They were brilliant at heading the ball. Obviously, James Perch not really recognised for his heading. The boost he does well then gets a cross in, but that's too close to Pepe Reina. And he catches in the air. Obviously, James Perch not renowned for his heading of the ball. And really, you could just say, come to the wrong man for Newcastle. Adara would probably been wanting that to drop on the head of Papa Cisse or Moses Zizoko, Mohamed Zizoko. Instead, it came, came straight to James Perch who headed it wide. Here in Newcastle again, getting so much more possession, a meaningful possession now. Earlier it was just wasteful possession, and that's wasteful possession. And Sturridge is fouled by Jonas Gutierrez. That's not what they want to be doing again. That's what they've been doing for the first 20 minutes when they went 2-0 down. And just passing it and just not going anywhere and then giving it away. And that's not good, and <laughs> Gutierrez grabbed Daniel Sturridge's leg and goes into the book. Look at that. And now Liverpool on the ball. With Glenn Johnson on the right hand side. Um unaccurate pass there from Steven Gerrard. That's not usually happens and now this is a good break and now it's through to Sizoko. Sizoko with Oh, it's good play by Jose Enrique, but in the end, Jose Enrique gets in the way of Aga's clearance and it's out for a corner kick to Newcastle. Brilliant play by Sizoko to, to really hold it up for that few seconds. But Jose Enrique has always matched him down the line, and in the end, it's got out for a corner. That's an, a gorgeous through ball. That was the kind of play that Newcastle won. That quick play. And just find that quick through ball. And they got it that time with a Kabai with a beautiful ball through. Architecture of so many of Newcastle chances. Here he is again trying to architect something with a corner. Headed away. And it's up in the air and awkward for 
Rainada he catches it just just in front of his own goal just looped up for him it's headed away by Newcastle but Daniel Sturridge just picks that up in the middle of the park and now it's with Downing and trying to find Jordan Henderson on the right hand side Steven Gerrard Downing again Gerrard oh good block there by Tiate Tiate again intercepts from uh, Glenn Johnson look like a foul has played advantage and Kabaye with a ball now to Sissoko he wants a free kick not given and Liverpool can take the ball away into, the, off, into Newcastle's half Tiate still down but Newcastle have won it back they won't play it out of play now Oh, and that's a poor ball by Sissoko I think it was it was either Sissoko or Cabot or Cisse. Can't quite tell from this camera angle but tried to find Kabaye and the ball didn't just didn't quite reach him. We just easily cut out and Glenn Johnson into the book, another player into the book. It was a bad tackle by him on. It was just Tiote takes it off of me just Hands across his body and just brings him down. You see his hands across him and Chate had nowhere to go, couldn't get out of there, went down. And the referee played advantage but pulled it back in the end and gave a, gave a yellow card to Glenn Johnson, which play had been stopped the, for treatment for Chate. Alan Pardew taking down some notes. Sure, that notepad will be pretty full after this first 40 minutes. They've grown into the game of Newcastle, but someone tells you it's just too late. Not done enough, really. Early on, and two early goals from Liverpool. Just put them in that kind of situation where they're always going to have to be cautious going forward because of the counter attacks from Liverpool in that position where they just need goals and Liverpool just need to hold on but obviously one goal can change the game completely especially if it's Newcastle's goal next goal could be is obviously as it always is in a game that's 2-0 it's always so so crucial 3-0 game over 2-1 game back on and that's what Newcastle have got to think but there's always that lingering day, as I say, 3 0, it's game over. So they're always going to be cautious. They don't want to be over committed. There's still plenty of time to pull it back from 2 0 down. But Newcastle is pushing up higher on the field, and here's just about gets away. That's poor from Liverpool but a missed opportunity from Newcastle Con couldn't quite tell who was dangling with a ball almost giving it away it was almost taken off his toes by Kabaye but not taken advantage by the Frenchman here's Sissoko he wants to see say somewhere but he's not there to pull it back to it's only been cleared as far as Debussy Sissoko Oh, that's a bad clearance, but lucky for um, Agar, is it? It comes to Downing, and Debussy brings down um, Daniel Sturridge on the halfway line. This will be another player, yet another player into the book. And several in the book. It's actually Taylor, who was the man that judged to have brought him down. Yeah, it was. Four to four minutes gone, so just uh, not long now till winter in added time, which will probably be about two minutes. Gutierrez flicks that ball forward, but Lucas again to get it, and uh, Glenn Johnson gets the ball away from Gutierrez, but it's won back in midfield by James Perch. Kabai slips over, but manages still to get it. And some afters down, and 
Glenn Johnson and Yang and Biwa. Hmm, don't know what's happened here. We're gonna see a replay, but Glenn Johnson wasn't happy. I think mean, he was MBA actually. I do apologise to him. Wasn't actually getting involved in it. He was actually trying to push um, Glenn Johnson away. It was actually between Czech Tiote and Glenn Johnson. Obviously, Newcastle won't be too happy about that because they were obviously attacking themselves. Grabbed his, and, you know, Tiotto's put a foot in there. The ball's kind of under Glenn Johnson. Tiotto's put a foot in, and Glenn Johnson, for some reason, is probably making no contact whatsoever with him. Didn't like it. Grabbed his, uh, grabbed Tiotto's foot, as, and um, just wouldn't let go. Just grabbed him in a bit of a um, MMA tussle there to try and bring him down was over upset about nothing really because as I say Tiote no intent nowhere near really catching um, Glenn Johnson and should have just let it go I wanted to make a bit more of a deal of it than he needed to his team's 2 and a up doesn't need to be getting into any of that probably lucky really with the way what he was doing to get away with not getting, being sent into the book and Glenn Johnson might be going into the book now ball was with Gutierrez, Gutierrez got, took the ball past Glenn Johnson but Johnson just waited there and just blocked him off yeah, Hadara just played it into Johnson Johnson, you know, stands there almost like a basketball block that was, blocking foul and that's what it's been given he wasn't sent into the book turned a bit more lean into him he yeah, has showed with most of the players this afternoon. Half time at Peterborough, Peterborough nil. Sheffield Wednesday nil. Kabai with a free kick to the back post where it's caught by Pepperina. And this will be the half time whistle. And there it is. And it's half time and the booze ring out at St James's Park. Newcastle nil. Liverpool two at half time. And it's been a real sub to say the least performance from Newcastle Daniel Agat and Jordan Henderson the goal scorers for Liverpool Agat after just three minutes of a ball into the box after several crosses were not properly dealt with by Newcastle and finally trying to play him offside he was free in the area Headed over Elliot, gave him a 1 0 lead, and then a counter attack from Liverpool. Through ball to Daniel Sturridge, who unselfishly played it across the goal to, Rob El to Jordan Henderson, past Rob Elliot, and Henderson was able to tap into the back of the open net to give Liverpool a 2 0 lead. Lucas have been better since then, but not quite good enough, and that is why they are 2 0 down at half time. And that is why you heard the boos at the half from the home fans who have not been remotely impressed with their home side's performance thus far.